Queen here, and I'm here, and I'm making Harry Potter cupcakes. So, I've already made the cupcakes. I used vanilla batter. So let me go grab. Them. So, with the Harry Potter cupcakes, I found this idea on Pinterest. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your cupcake, and make sure you have your frosting. You can use vanilla, which is what I'm using, or you can also use cream cheese or any other frosting you want. But in order to do the coloring for the middle of your cupcake, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use a white frosting and a knife if you prefer to section it off. I have not used this yet, so this is new. Which one I'm going to get it into your bowl. I'm using four different bowls for the four houses. See, one's yellow for Hufflepuff, blue for Ravenclaw, green for Slytherin, and red for Gryffindor. Don't yell at me. I know. Gryffindor has two colors. All of them have two colors. But today, we're only using one out of those two colors. So, I sectioned it off into fourths. And now, I'm just scraping out the chunks and putting them into each bowl. So, now that we've got Slytherin's in, I'm going to start on Hufflepuff. And I'm doing this for my class because I'm nice. And I'm going to have a birthday tomorrow, so happy birthday to me. Well, when I film this, it's probably going to be on tomorrow <laughs> when it gets into it. And I already have spoons out for each of them. Each of them. And whenever I give these to my classmates, the colored frosting will be on the inside of the cupcake, so they won't know that they have a surprise in them until they eat them. Or I'm going to say, warning or surprise, I'm not sure yet. If you think I should warn them that there's something in the middle, write that down in the comments. That's something to comment about. See, now I'm just on Gryffindor. I'm probably going to add a little bit more to each of them. There we go. Now, that I've got this, Ignore all the talking in the background, it's all my friends or family, I say. So, I did not put enough in each of the houses, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of my four spoons, and just take a little bit and dollop it into each one. Now, if you want to, you can do what I'm doing right now, or you can find this idea from Delish on Pinterest. Yeah. So, that, that, and the camera's frosting is still on there. So, she's frosting is going into cupcakes. And then we're going to stir. So I know I'm probably going to have to add more because it's going to end up being like cake. Okay. But with food coloring, I'm going to tell you now, you're never going to get a solid red unless you happen to have 
really good food coloring, but I don't mind. Gonna end up turning out more pink. So now I'm kind of squirting much in it. They're picking up your book pictures, so see, it's still pretty pink. And Tanya ended up using the whole deal. Use a whole bunch of red. That way I get closer to the red, less of a pink. Or I'm going to keep getting a bigger, worse pink. Oh, here we go. Starting to get more of a red. Don't get in the camera. Yes, I'm filming this on YouTube. Don't ask. See, now you have a deeper red than when I first showed you when it was more of a So, now we have the red. I'm going to add some more coloring a little later. I just want to go ahead and get the rest of them already in. Oh, now I'm going to be doing Slytherin, which is great. What you want to do is you're going to try to get a deep, dark red or green. If you want lighter colors, you can do that, but me, being who I am, Harry Potter fanatic, I want to get them as close to possible as the actual house colors. So I'm trying to get dark, deep colors. See, I'm just adding food coloring, keep adding it, until you get your desired color. Yes. <laughs> That's my grandpa. He don't like cameras. So now we've got a green, and now we're doing Hufflepuff and yellow. Next we'll be doing Ravenclaw and her in their blue. I'll show you the. And now I'm just doing Hufflepuff's yellow, trying to get it a dark, deep yellow, just so it's not so hard to tell that they're Hufflepuff. And I'll explain later why I'm so much. But everyone who watches my channel knows that. I don't post all the time because I tend to not, and I end up forgetting. See, now we have a yellow for Hufflepuff. Now that we're getting all the colors in, now I'm on to Ravenclaw, which is blue. And those of you who know me, or don't, we all know that I'm in Ravenclaw. Although I say I'm Mooney, even though he was in Gryffindor, because where the brave dwell at heart. Which is also what Harry's mother was in. Then could you make a coin Oh my. Just get in the frame if you have to. My people do not care. Not that 
They're uh, hiding you. Exactly. I want you to bring it to me so I can start filling them. YouTube. The green dot right there? That's not the camera. Do you see the green dot right there? Yeah, that's my, that's my battery life. No, that's the US doesn't have watching you be stupid. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm not to joke around. Jordan, you've said it on the news they use your cameras. I know. I want film. Can we make some factor, please? No. Yeah. See, I've still got it like a super. <laughs> I don't know who he is, but that's an ugly dude. <laughs> they need you to pick a better model. Danny, <laughs> that's you. No, it ain't. I'm not that ugly. I'm ugly, ain't that ugly. <laughs> okay, Danny, here. Don't just talk to me like that. Do you know what I can do with a butter knife? Family! Oh, fancy. I'm not being with Tanya. Family. The camera won't have you. Family! I'll punch the camera too. <laughs> okay, Danny, can you leave me alone no. for once? Please? No. Yes. No. No. So, we're trying to get this to our desired color of blue. And yellow. And, well, the green's good. Now I have this to a perfect red. This is as close with food coloring as you get to actual red. And now I have my dark blue. So what you're going to want to do is going to take your cupcake. This has frosting on it. Now you're going to use... I'm using a one teaspoon. I thought I was using a quarter. Yeah, that's what I did there. I'm using a quarter of a teaspoon in order to it's all done. Okay, so for the quarter of a teaspoon, which is what I'm using, it's all small. You're going to want to scoop out a little bit of the inside of your cupcake. You want to go all the way to the bottom of your cupcake, just like that. Make it hollow enough to put a little bit of icing in. So, I'm going to be using this icing thing. And we're going to smash it. So now I'm going to put some icing. I'm going to use green for now. We're just going to put it inside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash it out after every single time, just that way you don't get the colors to where they mix. Because that does not look that good. Never put green in this red. When Harry Potter correct like that. Now we're just gonna tighten this on just like this and press the icing down. So it starts cutting at the top. There it is. Like that. And now we're going to grab our cupcake. And then you're just gonna 
fill it. Rim. And then next, we're going to do another cupcake, and then I will show you more to do. So, oh, grab some cupcake. Don't want the dog eating that. Gotta do. Just keep doing that. You're gonna have to watch, have to watch me do every single one of them because I'm not figuring out how to edit them yet. So I am not figuring out how to edit videos. If you know, tell me in the comments, guys. Now that's another Slytherin cupcake. And we're just gonna repeat this process until we run out of green icing. Which is our icing for Slytherin. So, one of my friends eat their cupcake. They're going to figure out what Hogwarts house they eat. There we go. Now we've run out of green icing. So I'm going to go to the sink and wash it. We're going to want to take this piece off. Okay. Icing again. More icing. Lots of icing. And I'm just going to clean up the icing. This is the little squirter. So now I'm going to finish washing the icing. I think that's the best I can do. 
video. I'm gonna go ahead and shovel out the cupcakes. That way I don't have to worry about. And fun fact, Maggie Smith, when she was filming one of the Harry Potter movies, she was going through cancer. Sometimes she would have to wear a wig, but she would still be her character. She was still her, and which I think is really great. So she was a true Gryffindor all the way through the Harry Potter movies, and in my opinion, is still a Gryffindor. Four of those done so far, so I'll spoon some more out once I get there. Now we're just going to repeat this process again with the filling. See, so you just fill it to the brim like we did Slytherin. I'm going to show you how you wash it. Right next to the sink. There we go. So you take it all apart like that. Take every single piece off. See? What you're going to do is you're going to just scoop all that icing out of the middle. This will get a little messy if you try to do this at home. This is a good activity for when you love Harry Potter and it's your birthday or any celebration. You know someone who loves Harry Potter and let's say you volunteer to make cupcakes, make these. They will go insane. So, what we're going to do, see, you just wash every piece off until you're sure that there's nothing there's not going to be hardly any color contamination. That's what I'm getting. Color contamination. Of course, don't want to mix. You want to make sure that you clean well up well after this. And if you have any fan that's you like to ship. So for me, my favorite Harry Potter fandom creation that they made is Hermione, which I like mostly because Draco and Hermione is such a complete, utter thing that can actually happen. 
and Rowling even admitted that she said, I was wrong to put Ron and Hermione together. The whole fandom. Yes. And then, we are not sure what Tom Felton ships. There are some pictures that say, I ship Hermione, I ship Rarity. Which is Draco and Harry. There's more with Hermione. My favorite character, though, in Harry Potter, my favorite fandom, is the Hermione, and my favorite character is Luna Black Eye. So now I'm going to go grab my favorite towel and just dry this as best as I can. Oh, I'm going this. You don't want frosting to get stuck on the inside of it. You do not want that because then it'll be really hard to take it off and to put back on without it sticking to the other to it. So now like this, like that, and that, just like this. And then both of these sides have the same check thing. Hell, I love baking. It's one of my few passions in life that I can do for hours on end. <laughs> so now we're gonna do half a pot. But like I said, look for the last one. Let's scoop up some drip cakes. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff with Helga Hufflepuff. There's some really cool ideas and fandoms going around, such as Jika Kowalski is a descendant of Helga Hufflepuff. Now that's interesting. I would love to see that. Because if he is a squib, that'll add to why he says, I wish I was part of the magical community, or his parents are squib and he never inherited that. Or it skips several generations. That's another theory that can go around. And if you like Harry Potter or anything I do, whether it's Harry Potter, I might start doing some Hunger Games things. That's another fandom I'm getting into. So now, we've got all that, and we're going to put this back on. And I'm not going to have that in. Apple Pops played out three at the most. I hope I have at least three. Well, now I'm out of half a pop. There's only two, but that's okay. It's okay. I have more frosting for this. Now I'm gonna take you over here to watch this again. Do my job. Loving this. Wash. 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 I also want to say happy birthday to anyone who had a birthday in March, or April, or May, or June, or July, or any time last year, or this year, including January, February, this month, next month, the month after that, the month after that, and every month after that.
disgusting. And I recommend this, like, probably for parties as well. That'll all this will work for parties. Pretty much anything, I'm pretty sure, as long as you need cupcakes. Or cakes, I bet you can do this with a cake too. You do like four small cakes and have like a parent do it. That way you don't know anything about like which house is what. So that way when you choose, you have a random house as well. So now we're going to fill this up with the red. Almost out of red. There we go. 
are still a little bit of frost. So now that we've filled them all, I still have a bunch left. You need to wash this out and then put white frosting in it to go over the rest of this. So I will be right back. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab 